Hello guys, welcome to this um, Champions League ranking. This tier list, by the way, only has the teams who haven't, I mean, had already qualified for the Champions League, so it doesn't include Rangers and that who qualified through playoffs. So we're going to start with Group A, and I don't think Rangers would have got through anyway, so that doesn't really make a difference for me. So let me get this straight. I think Napoli and Liverpool will go through. I think Liverpool will top the group. Ajax will fall out just about with Rangers on their tail anyway. So I said there and I'm going to move Liverpool and I'm going to move Napoli to the round 16. Also, I don't know what that I, Napoli badge is, what they chose. So Group B, I believe every team's here. So... I definitely think Atletico are getting out of that group. And I do believe Leverkusen. So that means that Porto, you're going, in my opinion, third. And last will be Club Bruges. Group C. And I'm about to make a big call here. Now, I don't hate Barcelona, but I see Inter getting through, and I think by Munich are too good not to go through. So, here I believe Frankfurt will get through, and Tottenham, that is the history of the Tottenham, as Cellini once quoted. So, that means, actually, you know what, I'll just back up Frankfurt to go through, and Sport and Lisbon. Okay, again, it's a straightforward choice, in my opinion. Milan and Chelsea do go through. Um, Dynamo Sol, I mean, Red Bull Salzburg are out. No Dynamo's are big. Real Madrid easily through through the group. And, you know, I think it's going to be a bad year for Red Bull. I know no one on this world has generally believed Shakhtar the net would ever go through, but I have hope in them. So we have Group C. Again, it's straightforward. Man City are definitely getting through, but this is here the debate begins. Do Sevilla or Dortmund get through? And in my opinion, if Dortmund do hold on to Bellingham, they get to around the 16, but we're heavily linked with them, but at this stage of the nine, we've even offered them a deal yet, so... Playing hardball, oh yes, Celtic, you're out. And finally, Sevilla. And Ben Tenfica, in my opinion, would get grouped, but they would get into the Europa League, and I generally think they would go on to win it. So Juventus and a PSG get through. So I'm just going to make up some random draw here. So let's say Liverpool get by Leverkusen. And Liverpool go through. By the way, some of this is in Spanish because I just had to change the writing. So Leverkusen, I'll put down here. Napoli get Bayern Munich. Bayern Munich proceed. Atletico get Tottenham. Atletico, I'm going to say Frankfurt, top that group. Um. Into draw Man City and Man City go through. Okay, here's where the debatable ones come now. Germany's Frankfurt draws Real Madrid. Actually, realistically, I should have gave Man City Shakhtar the Nets knowing there. Look, um. Shakhtar the Nets play PSG because they get to lucky. Then it is Chelsea versus a Milan. No, they can't physically play Milan. Just do this. Juventus, Chelsea. Okay, it is the quarters, so we have our final eight teams. Let's say Liverpool draw Juventus. I think Liverpool beat Juventus. I don't think they're strong enough. But if Liverpool do pick up our form and we don't have a million injuries, I think we're fine. 
Bayern Munich play Real Madrid. And here's my first big call. Real Madrid go out to Bayern Munich. Atletico will play Chelsea and actually no Chelsea. I mean this is like wait well. I know Liverpool have played the Juventus, haven't they? And then it's a Money Classico here and Man City. Yvette, I don't see PSG winning it. And then Liverpool face Bayern Munich. And although Bayern Munich are good with the new sign, Sadio Mane, I think they lost quite a lot. But yeah, Liverpool and Chelsea vs City will be the semi final. And there's only one who gets out, obviously, and that's Man City. Man City won't allow me to go to the final, maybe they don't go through just because of that. So that's my predictions, as you know, some of the teams which didn't qualify aren't there. So now we're going to do football kits. Yeah. This is my first time seeing some of the kits. And again, it looks like it's doing the same thing as the other one. I hasn't got the teams who haven't qualified for it. But at the same time, I think it's only done the higher teams because I didn't see Shakhtar Donetsk's kit. That's quite sad for the Ukrainian side. So in Milan, ouch, I don't like the red bar, I mean the black bar in the top. Meh, sorry Milan fans. Now that Ajax kit actually decent in my opinion. Again, Atletico is average. I like the gold and the Barca kit, so I prefer it over Ajax. Oh, I don't like the Bayern Munich kit. I know they usually have quite decent kits out, so... Meh. Can Dortmund... I think Dortmund's better than Bayern. The Celtics... Well, I mean Celtic, not the NBA team. I think I prefer it over Atletico. Now Chelsea. It's too boring. Club Bruges. Again, it's quite a traditional kit. I f it looks like an Atalanta kit though, and that's one of my problems with it actually. The Frank Fair kit's actually quite interesting because, as you know, they usually have the red. In the kit, so for uniqueness, unless they've accidentally done their away kit on this, I'll do average. Milan, you know, I think it's worse than PSG. I mean Chelsea. Juventus, ah, this hurts my eyes. I'm sorry, people probably like that kit, but it hurts my eyes. Oh, Leverkusen's kit is quite nice in my opinion. Liverpool top, no bias. The City, it's one of the best at Alfred Jones. What I say, oh, that's actually quite clean. Interesting. It looks like there's more black than blue, unless that's dark blue. Um, Porto again, it's quite traditional. So, PSG, I generally don't know what he's done with the white stripe, but it's actually decent. I no, let's go is better. Now, Leipzig is top tier. I know they're like everyone's least favourite football team, but I think they have the coolest kit I've seen. Yeah, that is Leipzig. I'm just making sure it's not Salzburg. Real Madrid, boarding. Again, Salzburg, the, lab, the Red Bull teams are producing high quality kit. What? How do you describe that severe kit? Porto. I mean, oh, I've just disrespected so many people out there, haven't I, Jesus? And Sporting's kit, fire. I think it's better than Ajax. And I'm assuming that's Tottenham. And unless this is a, this hasn't got the badge on. If you look so slightly, you can see. Kind of zoom in. You can slightly see there's Tottenham badge. That's just a Tottenham history. Just because of this dodgy version. There you go. Now we're going to see if we can find goalkeepers. If not, we're winning. 
Well, it's not this season's goalkeepers, but it's got good goalkeeper kicks, some good, some bad. And it's after the 21, well, the 20, 2021 kit, I think. No, yep, last season's kit. It's Allison's A. And that is, I believe, a Porto kit. Yes, a lovely, it looks like, um, <laughs> it generally does look like Tevez is wearing that kit, I'm not going to lie, it's a Man United kit, who even is that keeper? I used to play goalkeeper, I knew my keepers, but I don't even know who he is. D, just because it looks like, um, Pepe Reina's joint Man United there. Oh, that Juventus kit with Buffon in is sick. Is that? Aston Villa? No, it's a Rangers kit. Anyway, it's not going anywhere else. And a classic Asilis um, kit from, I think, 2009. The Peter Jack, I mean, oh, what well, have I done there? Peter Jack last year, Chelsea, I think, the 2012 season. Back when they were sponsored by Samsung. I don't know who Sam is and what he's singing, but he sung. Okay, I'm going to be honest here, that kit is nice. Although they did knock Liverpool out of Champions League, but we don't speak about that. We have De Gea here, and I think he's on the wrong list. I don't think he's supposed to be on the elite goalkeeper kits for the top Champions League keeper kits. So, D for uh, misadvertisements, generally not for biasty this time. Um... We have um the two thousand and seven Milan kit or the two thousand and five. I don't give one because two thousand and five we won the Champions League. Just bummed there. Donna Roma is he even classed as goalkeeper nowadays? I'm gonna be honest, but the kid is nice. Dudek the legends. That that might be Grobblard. Sorry if it is Grobblard, but I'm calling him Dudek. Absolute classic, no bias D whatsoever. Edison, again, we know who the best superior Brazilian keeper is, though. Men, fair play to Chelsea. I never realised he had an orange goalkeeper kit. Actually, no, he's, he's bottom tier of this area. Well, it's, it's still good being in bottom S tier, but... Would you rather just be high eight here? That's the problem. Okay, we have Hugo Loris, and it looks like a worse one than the Alisson's one, what he's wearing. We have, I believe, Handanovic in a old Milan kit. I can't know what season it is, and I can't speak English. I don't think it's better than this Porto kit. That might actually be when they won the Champions League, now that I think about it. Okay, we have Claw here. I don't even know if that's his name. I have lost respect for him because I know what something happened, but does, as a keeper, just because he allowed Man United to win a Champions League and Ole Gunnar Solskjaer win it for them, but be for the kid. It's the Invincibles kit, I believe. Um, I think I know what it looks like completely. A tier. Navas, again, we lost the Champions League to them that season, so. I'm gonna stick you right here. No, but seriously, I don't think the kit's that good. Well, I've put it in B tier, but that's the bank average pro. Now, one thing which Bayern Munich do get right is goalkeeper kits, although I'm feel struggling to see a difference between that one and the court bar one. Jan Oblak Electrico is the exact same as a lot of Easter's kit, isn't it? I'm just putting a lot of a bit higher. I can't even try and think of what football team that is. Who was? Who's that team? What team is that? I don't know, but the kit's ugly. Oh, it's Pepper Rain now. No bias to you whatsoever. 
Schmeichel. I'm assuming when they won the Champions League because he looks quite happy there. They're all the same kit, you know what? They're all the same. Again, and so Milan kit, it looks nothing different to this one. Some Barca kit. It actually looks quite similar to that kit, but it still looks good. And finally, we have Van der Sar in a Man United kit. I don't think it does that much better to the net. My last one. I mean, that's my UEFA Champions League tier list, home kit list, and iconic goalkeeper list. Even though some of them weren't actually in the Champions League during that picture or that season, but who cares?